Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, what's going on today? Well, today I am not feeling good at all. When I woke up this morning, I felt like I had run into a punch or a, an oncoming train and I have been sleeping most of the day and not feeling good. So there may be pauses when I mute so that I can cough. Um, and I think there is every chance that I will be so off form that this is a great opportunity for you to do better than my time today. Um, but we create content every day. It's what we do. So I have hauled myself out of bed, shaven a shower. Here I am going to have a go at this puzzle called The Secret by Marty Sears. And you can probably see why. It's brilliant. Um, 45 appears constantly in the grid. And that is the secret, as you know. So I hope not to uh, fail on this and thus not do Marty Sears justice. We will see how it goes. Actually, I am going to mention yesterday's puzzle. No, the first thing I'm going to mention is Patreon, where tomorrow we will be releasing the cryptic scriptures of the Snake Society, which is a brilliant Sudoku hunt based on snake puzzles. And that's part of the reason I'm doing this one. This has something like snakes in it. And uh, I think that's a good bit of dovetailing. Now, what else is happening? You can get our apps, of course. They're on the links under the video. Our merchandise is going very well. Thank you for buying that. In fact, I'm wearing it today because it's the warmest thing I've got. Um, <clears throat> what else have we got? Ah, let's just have a look. First of all, at yesterday's puzzle. So I got to this point and a few people made comments that I got the logic wrong in column nine. I didn't actually get the logic wrong. I just explained it wrong. So what I was looking at was if we had a six here, these would have to be a two and eight to make these cells add up to either 28 or 30, which they have to if, with the six there. These would have been a one, five, nine. And I knew that wherever the one appeared in a group of three cells down here, those three cells and one from this row contributed to a total of 13. So if this was 519, the one would be in the wrong place. And I didn't necessarily explain that very well, but it was the logic I was using. Um, something else I did was remove a six from this digit, from this cell, erroneously based on that six. And loads of people wrote in to point that out. I'm not sure why they didn't watch a bit further and find out that I never used it. Simon even tells me that somebody started a new Twitter account to complain about that, which... Seems a bit extra, but maybe that's the price of fame. Um, <laughs> don't laugh. That's not going to go well. Sorry. I sound more like Muttley than ever. Right. Let us look at The Secret by Marty Sears. Give it a try on the link under the video. I'm going to explain the rules now. Normal Sudoku rules apply. The digits in each grey region sum to 45. Very appropriate. Um, so there are two grey regions, obviously. Using different colours, colour five separate paths of orthogonally connected cells, each starting and ending at a different grey circle. These are the snakes, as I'm calling them. No cell sits on more than one path. Paths must not overlap each other or the grey regions. That's quite interesting. The digits along each coloured path must also sum to 45. Wow, this is really used heavily. Cells connected by a white dot contain consecutive digits. Not all white dots are necessarily given. Okay. Those are understandable rules. Let's have a go at the puzzle. Let us get cracking. Um, right. Lots of lots of interesting things in this. Let's let's have a look at this 45 extra region. The minimum that these cells can be is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, which add up to 31. Yes, okay, that is what they are then. Because 31 plus 4 there is 35. These would have to be the minimum as well. One, two, three, four. And we're away. Um, that puts a nine outside the column as an outie. So outside the extra region. So that goes there. Now four, actually we can place the four. It can't be any of those cells. So it's there. Well, that was a nice start. Um, ah, this is interesting. The pencil marking is helpful. This can't be a one, two, three set of consecutive digits because of that cell would be broken. Um, it doesn't contain four, five or nine. Therefore, it is seven in the middle of six, eight. That's nice. 
I don't think this is quite as helpful. 1530, well, that's gone up to 16 at a minimum in these cells now. I don't know. These have to be a maximum of eight. That's on nine, I think it is. 16, 31, 36, it's nine. So that's not that helpful. Ah, the white dots down column four. Right, one, two, three, and four must all be on white dots. So one and two are a pair. Three and four are a pair, and then seven is a pair somewhere here with six or eight. Now, I can't pencil mark that. Oh, look, there's a sequence of five digits here, and there's no four in it. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the five can't be at this end of the sequence because of the given five. So this that's a write-in sequence that I hadn't spotted. Oh, that's, that's a big chunk of the puzzle done, I think. We've got a six and a seven in the rest of column two. Okay, here's a thought about row two. The remaining digits are one, two, three, and nine. But I don't think this can be a one, two, three set, because what would be on the other side of the white dots? Well, it couldn't even have a four, actually. So that, that would just break. Um, so there's a nine in one of those two cells. There's an eight on the other side of its white dot at the top of the grid. And the other cell is a pair from one, two, three, which is weird. So I think we get a one, two, three, eight, nine quintuple. And that's going to make this a five and leave a six, seven pair in the box. That's strange. That's a strange quintuple. Um, ah, this can't be from one, two, three, because you'd have four cells from one, two, three in the column. So that is the eight, nine pair. That's good. That's good. That's a nice deduction. Two is on that pair because it needs an even number. So it's not in a couple of other cells there. Ah, oh, there's another sequence of four digits here. Oh, okay. Either there's a five on this sequence or there isn't. However, it's interesting if there isn't. Ah, I've just noticed actually, this is one, two, or three. So this is one, two, three, or four. That is really helpful, possibly. Now, if there is a five on this sequence, the five has to be in one of those cells. And then there's a four on the sequence, and the four has to be in one of those cells by Sudoku, and this would be a three, six pair. So that's one way this sequence works. Now, if there's not a five on it, it's four extreme digits, but it can't be one, two, three, four, because that would break this cell. Can it be six, seven, eight, nine? Only if it went round this way. Six there, seven there, eight there, nine there. Ah, and I can't, I can't rule that out. Ah. Oh no, this, I was going to say seven now has to be here, but that's not true, because this could be a three, four, five, six group. Oh, 5-4 is a pair up here. Oh, so if that was 5-4, that would be an X-wing. 4 would be down here. This would be 4-3. That would be 2-1. And this would be 7-8, which does work. Oh, there's a 1-2-3 triple up here. I don't think I'm getting very far on this. I mean, this can still be 61432, which hasn't taken degrees of freedom out. This can't be a 9 anymore. I should have seen that. And it probably couldn't for the, for the extra region. Oh, there's a 5 here by Sudoku. That's just a write-in. Four, four fives looking at that box gives it. Um, Well, this sequence is key. Oh, what about these snakes? Oh, I'd forgotten this rule that the snakes can't cross grey areas. Okay, so where does this snake go? Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. This snake can't go to there because you never get to 45. It can't go to there because you'd be only on... 26 or 28, too little. So it must come round the corner here 
and it either goes direct to that cell or it wibbles. Um, but this is quite tough. Let's compare column 5, which by the secret must add up to 45, because every row, column, and box in a Sudoku uses the digits 1 to 9 by rule, and they always add up to 45. So those cells add up to 45, but these do too. And that means that these four cells add up to the same total of these two. And that's great. That is great, because the minimum that these can add up to is 17. The maximum that these two can add up to is 17, and that must be what's going on. This snake doesn't wibble at all. It just gets to here. That's not 9, 8, 7 now. So this is a 3, 6, 4, 5. That's not 3, 4. Oh, there is a 4, 5 um, X-wing up there. So 4 is on one of those cells. So that's a 3, 4 pair, because we worked out in this column there's a 3, 4 pair and there's a 2, 1 pair, which is here now. And then this has 7 and 8, because it can't have 6. And that makes this a 6. That makes this an 8, which doesn't resolve which way around this goes. But these are from 1, 2, and 9. That can't be 9, so it's 1 or 2. This must be 1, 2, or 3. But there is a 2 on that white dot. There must be an even digit, so there's not a 2 there. We've got a 1, 2, 3, triple. That becomes a 6. That does resolve the sequence. This 4, 5 pair's done. That may be, oh ah, no, one, two pair in the central box. So that's a nine. This can't be three. Ah, so that's a one, two pair, and that is three, which I could have got from the gray cells up here. Ah, now, let's have a look at this. Eight, four, five, that's 15 already. Say these are the minimum, adding up to 15, that's 30, plus five is 35. If that was the case, these would have to add up to 10. I think they can still do that. I can't even risk not putting a 6 here, I don't think, which is strange, but probably true. Um, right, so what next? What next? Oh, the snakes. There's another one here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Let's make it yellow. 6, 7, 8, 9 adds up to 30. These three add up to 15. Oh, look, there's an 8, 9 pet. In fact, 8 and 9 can be filled in in this box. Ah, oh, just failing to spot Sudoku. I'm going to put that down to realness. Now, here, these add up to 15. They have either 6 or 7. Oh, they definitely have a 5, and that's definitely here. So it's either 5, 7, 3, or 5, 6, 4, which it can't be. It's 5, 7, 3. That's going to fix a lot of cells in the puzzle. 6 there. These are from 1, 2, 3, 4. And that one can't be a 4. So on this white dot, we're looking at another one, two, or three here, which gives us a triple in row seven. <laughs> That's handy. Desperately trying not to break out in a cough. Those aren't threes, so we've got one, two pair. This is a six, seven, eight triple. Now let's keep going with the snakes. Oh, this one's very variable. Um, this one isn't. This one surely has to go like that. If it went like that. You might be able to make that add up to 45, although I doubt it, but you certainly couldn't make that group. So this snake goes round like that. Let's make that blue. Now, five there, so these add up to 40, and to use the secret on the box tells us that these add up to five, and I can place a one there. Um, and that clears up some pencil marks that I could have actually cleared up before if I'd spotted the reason why. Now I've got a 1-2 pair in row 7. That becomes a 3. That must be a 2 above it. Now, can I add up these numbers again? I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to look at... That's a 1-9 pair. Because it sees 7, 4, 8, 6, 3, 5 and 2 in the box. So it's a 1-9 pair. That's sorting out quite a lot of other digits. Three, four. Now, I bet this can't be a 9 because of the total of the 45 cage, which is very heavily filled in now. In fact, let's add it all up. 15, 23, 27, 37. So these remaining cells add up to 8. I'm going to, predi I'm going to predict 
absolutely prognosticate that they do not include a 9 here if they add up to 8. These two add up to 7. They can't have a 5 or a 3 in. They are a 6-1 pair. That does the right-hand grey digit. I think we're finishing off now. This is great. Um, I had expected this snake business to be a lot harder. Now, this snake is going to have to end there. 6, 7, 8, 9 is 30. So these three add up to 15. Oh, that's a four. That's just Sudoku. Then there's a six. Oh, well, that makes this a three. And then this has to be an eight to make the snake work. That's good. Oh, hang on. This can't be a six. Okay, let's, let's see what I did wrong on the pencil marks there. I put in six and eight here instead of eight and nine. Now, that is even easier done. Right. Yeah, that's okay. So, this can't be eight. This can't be six. One, two, seven, seven, two, one. Now we've got one more snake still to find here. Let's color that and that cell, which is its end. Six, eight, five, and three is 22, plus one is 23. So we need another 22 here. Um, okay, I think there's a parity consideration because of how many numbers we're going to use. We're either going to use three more numbers to make the connection or five. It can't be seven. That would add up to more than the requisite 22. Now, I can see that those three do add up to 22, so that's going to be right, but can I prove it? If we used five, the numbers off the snake would have to add up to 19, and two digits can't do that. So we must only use three digits. It's either 985 or 976. 976 doesn't get you there. 985 does. That is right. Now, can I finish off the remaining digits and, and call it quits for the day? I think I can. That is 362678. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Thank you, Marty Sears. That is just what I needed today. Now I am going to pull the covers up over my head and go to sleep again. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to be back tomorrow bringing you more. We'll see how I am. Um, and well done if you beat my time today. Excellent. And thank you for not commenting on the one pencil mark slip. Now, that's it for today. Bye for now.